E Z A. It's in the game. What up, Dokkan Hunters? Welcome back to Toon Rami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So we've had about 12 hours to decompress and process all of the information that has been thrown at us for the new Part 2 of the 300 million download celebration. What I'm going to cover today is the Extreme Z Battle event for the Tech Gohan Goku combo and the STR Vegeta Trunks combo. It's a little confusing, it's a little restrictive, so the purpose of this video is to give you step-by-step -step clear cut guidelines to get this done. So we're going to take a look at the Dokkan Wiki and uh, this is the event. It is not going to be on your uh, events page right away. You have to unlock it. You don't just get it, you have to unlock it. How do you unlock it? Well, the first step is that you have to complete three other events. And when I say complete, you have to clear all the stages. The three events are New Enemies, Androids in Action, Emerge, Mysterious Monster Cell, and the Ultimate Confrontation, the Cell Games. Let's take a look at them. This one came, uh, this one came out as pretty, re no, it wasn't recent, it was, a, it was a while ago. This is probably the oldest event, and uh, this is where you got the Yardrat Goku and the medals to awaken the Incredible Gem Shop Android 18. So you just have to go through, finish all these events, just clear them. So you gotta do it eight times two, you gotta do it 16 times, because there are two difficulties on each stage, you gotta complete them all. Once you do, you go to the next event. The next event is this one, the Mysterious Monster Cell. This is the one where you got the Vegeta Trunks combo, you could awaken him and all of that. Finish all these events, clear them once each, you're done. And the Ultimate Confrontation, the Cell Games. This one is not, if you think you finished them all, you have not. So what happened was, this event was here, but then it disappeared for a little while, and then it came back because they added more missions. So after level 5, level 6 through 10 were added, and either this page is not loading, or nobody thought to add the information. But there are four more levels that you have to complete, so do that on both difficulties, and then you are done. So now you have finished all of the necessary steps as far as the events go. Now, here's the real kicker. When you're doing this event, you can only use these units right here. So let's let's break that down. First thing, you cannot do this event unless you have these four units right here. Tech Goku Gohan, the awakened version. Int Yardrak Goku, awakened. STR Vegeta Trunks, awakened. And what really bothers me is the Android 18 Incredible Gems shop unit has to be awakened. That really, okay, I, I get that this is a new take on the EZA event. They're trying to make it, you know, more interesting, more exciting, ch mixing things up, but I don't like this and here's why. I am a diehard hardcore gamer when it comes to Dokkan. So I have basically every unit that's free to play, I think. So when it comes to this, I don't have a problem and I had no issue getting them. But for the average player who does not farm incredible gems or doesn't play as much as me or, you know, other insane Dokkaners, this is going to be a bit of a challenge because you have to farm the gems to get this unit. So let's take a look at that unit itself. This is the one that we're talking about. It has to be awakened. She gets awakened from this version, the base form, which is the beloved girl fighter Android 18, which you can uh, get from the incredible gem shop for 200 incredible gems. You can purchase up to 10 times. If you want to get all 10, you'll have to have 2000. That's a lot. Or you have to farm her super from various other events. But in order to get one copy, you have to have 200 incredible gems. So then you buy this, you go to the new enemies androids in action event, and you go to stage eight, level eight, you get her medals. I think you need 20, and then you awaken to this one right here. This has to be on your team if you want to take on the event. You also need to have the two EZA units that you're working on. They have to be awakened. So they have to be there, that makes sense. And also the Yardrak Goku, the one that you get from the same stage, the Androids in Action event. So basically, this now puts into context why these three events have to be completed before you even do the Dokkan Awakening, or the Extreme Z Battle. Because when you're doing these three stages, you get the units that you need to actually take on the event. So here, uh, the Cell Games, you get the Tech Goku Gohan. From the monst Mysterious Monster Cell, you get the Vegeta Trunks. And from the Androids in Action, you get the remaining two units, Yardrat Goku and the Android 18. So once you've done that, you still have two more roster spots to go. 
you can't just use any two units. You have to choose from these units up here. You can only use the LR Free to Play 1718, the AGL Super, uh, Super Vegeta, the Tech Goku Gohan, the Int Yard Red Goku, Int Super Vegeta, the EZA Int Perfect Cell, uh, STR Vegeta Trunks, the future EZA Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Depending on when you're watching this, it will either have been EZA'd or it has not been yet, but it will. Android 18, the one that I mentioned, the Dokkan Event Drop Unit Perfect Cell that you get from the Horrific Cell games. It is an imperfect cell which you have to Dokkan Awaken using three Horrific Cell medals, and you'll get this AGL SSR Perfect Cell, or Perfect Form Cell. The Support Extreme Tech uh, Absorbed 17 Cell, Second Form Cell. The Super version of that, which is the TN, that uses his Tri Beam on that Second Form Cell. And the Super Strike Int Android 16. That is now available every single day thanks to this part two celebration. They've unlocked that event to be usable every single day. So these are the only units that you can choose from to actually partake in this event. So that severely limits your options. If you're not the type of player to do all of the free to play events or get all the free to play units and grind them up, this is already a huge disadvantage for you. If you're not lucky enough to get the perfect cell that turns into an easy A, this will be a disadvantage for you. If you don't get those support units like the second form cell or the TN, you're going to be at a disadvantage. So, depending on how much you're into the game, that will dictate how good of a time you're going to have doing this. Because not only do you need to have these units, they also need to be pretty strong or they need to have some orbs in them. Because these events, these levels are actually kind of tough. So let me finish up here. As for your friend unit, you can't use any friend unit except for that int perfect cell which will be at level 140, SA level 15, but I don't think you'll have any dupes in him. I don't think you'll have anything in his hidden potential system. So you have a very, very restrictive team going into this event, which on one hand is good because it's a challenge and everyone is at the same level for the challenge. On the other hand, it's terrible because some people just are not as into the game as others. And so that level of dedication will dictate how good of a time you're going to have doing the event. You may not have all the units that you need to even do it. And if you don't, you can't do the event. So with that said, we're going to jump into the actual game itself. I've got the team here. Fortunately, I am one of those crazy people who gets everything that he possibly can. For my team, I've obviously got the four units that have to be there. Android 18, the Tech Goku Gohan, and uh, the STR Vegeta Trunks, and the Int Super Saiyan Yard Drag Goku. For my other two units, I actually have a Rainbow Perfect Cell Int. He was one of the first units that I was able to have Rainbowed EZA. Um, so I've had him for the longest time, never really needed to use him, but now I can. So I have him ready to go. And I just had this Super Vegeta Rainbowed from the AGL support uh, banner that dropped. So he is now fully Rainbowed. And this is my team. So what I'm gonna do is go into the event and I'm gonna do a couple runs so that you can see what to expect. I've already completed all of them once each. So, when you're looking at this event, uh, keep in mind you have to have those units on the team, but also, you are now, this is not a typical Extreme Z battle where you fight 30 times. This is like a, a hidden potential farming event, like for those free to play units that have special orbs. You have to go onto the, uh, onto the map, step on the panels that have whatever you need, collect them, beat the boss, rinse and repeat until you have enough that you, that you require. Stage one and stage two both have two levels of difficulty, Z hard and super. When you're on the Z hard one, the lesser of the two difficulties, you are given two paths to choose from. You take the left path for one type of metal, you take the right path for the other type of metal. So you're going to have to alternate between the two until you accumulate enough metals, enough bronze metals, silver metals, gold medals, and rainbow medals to fully extreme Z awaken these units. Really, really tedious, really annoying. But I mean, the Easy A version was also like that. You had to fight 30 times. So I have a feeling when everything is said and done, you're going to have to do this about 30 times anyway. So it all adds up. And you can't use items. You cannot use items. All right, so this is the team. Uh, let me check the friend unit. Yeah, the friend unit is SA15 and fully extremely awakened, but has no hidden potential system. So mine will be doing most of the work. So this is my team, fully rainbowed out. Fortunately, I was very lucky. And let's get started. So I'm doing the hardest version first, and I'm just letting you know, it is very, it is very difficult. Because my units are fully rainbowed and they complement each other quite well, 
it, it wasn't as bad for me the first time around, but it could change on this one. So as you can see, we're given two routes to take. On the left, we've got the silver medals. On the right, we've got the gold. The silver medals, since this is the super difficulty, the silver medals will provide the gold... I'm sorry, not, cap not metal, capsules. Silver capsules on the left, gold capsules on the right. On, on this difficulty, the super difficulty, the silver capsules that you get on the left side will give you the gold medals. On the right, the gold capsules will give you the rainbow medals. I did the rainbow medal run last time, so I'm going to go left and take the silver medals, the silver capsules this time. I keep saying medals. I'm sorry about that. So I picked up two of those. Each one gives me five. So I have now been given ten total gold medals for this run. Now I have to beat the event. So I am fighting Vegeta, or no, I'm fighting Trunks. So my AGL Super Vegeta will be the key. Uh-oh. Nobody links up here, come on. You're probably gonna find that this happens to you quite a bit, where uh, several of your units just cannot pull off their supers. There's a few reasons for that. One, you're not using the units that you want, so they may not necessarily link as well as you'd expect. The other reason is that Based on the limited amount of units that you have to choose from, there aren't that many appealing leader units. The one that I'm using, the Int Perfect Cell, when he extremes the Awakens, his uh, leader skill is all types key plus two and 50% across the board, I believe. So even if you have a dual Int Perfect Cell team, you're only going to get plus four key. The rest of it comes from uh, key links, which may not be very much. So I took quite a bit of damage there, as you see, from that first onslaught from the Trunks. Hopefully I can make up for the damage here. This is not what happened my first time around. So I could potentially lose. Again, no items, nothing. You've got no, you've got nothing but the team that you had to put together from the terrible lineup that you had to choose from. Vegeta, it's up to you, man. You're gonna have to do the bulk of the damage. And obviously since these two units, the Goku Gohan and the Vegeta Trunks, they haven't been easy aid yet. So they're not as good as they could be. Once they're fully awakened, you don't have to do the event. You see what I mean? Kind of ironic in that sense. So before I recorded this video, I actually had to use some of my portal keys to go to the Universe Survival Saga event and farm out uh, a bunch of Android 18 units so that I could get this Android 18 up to Super Attack 10. Because even if you buy all of the units from the Incredible Gem Shop, you still don't have enough to give her Super Attack 10 and open all of her paths. So um, I had to do the work myself. So as you saw there, I got 10 medals, uh, 10 gold medals for completing that. So that was the super difficulty on stage one. So let's do stage two now. Stage two will be the Goku Gohan version. We'll do the super difficulty there. We've got the same horrible leader. Let's get going. So stage one, Vegeta Trunks, the unit, the enemy is STR. Stage two, Goku Gohan, the enemy will be Tech. So you might have a slightly easier time doing this one because there are more int units that are available uh, for you to choose from and a couple free to play ones that are readily available. If you don't have the int perfect cell, if you're not able to get the int super Vegeta, you can use the super strike Android 16 or the int Yardrat Goku. Both are excellent choices for this event. You'll probably need them both anyway. I'm banking on the fact that my team is just rainbowed and super strong. So I don't need it, but we'll see. All right, so here, obviously, once again, Cell sticks out like a sore thumb. He's not gonna get any super, but he's gonna have to sit in the front and tank those hits. After that, I'm gonna have my Vegeta Trunks attack and my AGL Super Vegeta has to chill in the background because this is not his fight. If he gets supered in the back there, it's possible I could lose. Some people might complain that this is overly difficult, but in all honesty, I like it. Um, personally, I like it. I have all the units. Uh, well, most of them. I have enough for a team. That's all. And it's a it's a fresh take on on a mission that we have done so many times. It's different. I can see this. I, I see this as a nice change of pace. Dokkan is trying to be a little different instead of being tedious and monotonous. Some people don't like that because some people like the routine 
nature of going through 30 stages, completing everything, and, you know, just being done after about an hour. Which I understand, I really do, because when I first saw this, I also reacted pretty negatively. But in the end, they're trying to be different, they're trying to give us fresh content, fresh approaches to the game, to just keep it interesting. So I, I appreciate that they did this. Alright, so I completely didn't even look at the health. I am almost dead. I could- Oh! Clutch! See that? That is why you must have Super Saiyan Goku Yardrat um, fully rainbowed before you do this. The more rainbow units you have, the better shot you have at surviving. Since I am- since he's stunned, I win. I don't have to worry, but I'll just do this for show. By the way, if I didn't mention earlier, I took the left route once again because when I was doing this off-camera one on the first time, I went right both times picking up the gold capsules because your eye obviously gravitates towards the gold capsule. You want to get the more valuable one. Here, you have to be mindful that you intentionally have to go for both. You can't just get the gold one every single time. If you do that, you will never get the medals that you need. You will only get the rainbow ones on the super difficulty, or if you're doing the Z hard difficulty, you will only ever get the silver medals. You have to go left, and you have to get the bronze and the, go uh, and the gold ones too. So there you have it. Let me do one more run just to show you one more thing. So we're going to do the Z hard level for the Goku one. So as you see, the colors are now different. On the right, the more valuable one is the copper capsule. On the left is the regular plain capsule. So as I mentioned, left is the more basic metal, right is the more rare. So in this case, since we're doing the lower difficulty, if we go right, we're going to get the silver metal. If we go left, we're going to get the bronze metal. I'm going to go right because you need a lot more silver medals than you do bronze medals. You'll pick up these two capsules and you'll go into the fight. Now, what I wanted to say, which I completely forgot, sometimes, sometimes this spot right here <laughs> will actually give you a question panel. If it does, you'll get a bonus amount of medals. So keep that in mind. You sometimes might get a few extra medals, which will save you one run, two runs, three runs, who knows. And since we're doing the lower difficulty, look at who I'm fighting. I am fighting a base level Goku, who will be a lot easier to fight. But I've got no freaking key links. Thank you. So this turn is a complete wash. Except for Vegeta. My one my my type disadvantage unit will be the only one who gets to attack. Thank you. Fortunately he won't do much damage because the difficulty is lower and yeah. Alright, how much are you gonna do on this guy? Probably not a lot. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay. Um with my Yardrag Goku in front. He will dodge these most likely. Goku will attack second. And Vegeta will attack third. I want to save those int units for my two cells coming up. Okay, he did not dodge the first, nor did he dodge the second. Yardrag Goku is supposed to be able to dodge. It's not a guarantee, I mean. But he should be dodging your first uh, few attacks if you put him in the first slot. But thankfully his additional gave him a super. This Gohan-Goku combo did his job. Vegeta doesn't have a super, but that's okay. Next turn, the Annihilation will be complete. I have to use my trusty Rainbow Cell. Android 18, do whatever you want. And so, oh, great. Nice orb distribution. Too bad none of that will matter after one move. All right, so here we go. Easy A for the win, and that is how it's done. So, um, pretty straightforward once you understand the restrictions that are put on the level. Again, it's annoying, but it's different. And Dokkan's trying to be different, trying to keep it fresh. So, maybe if, if it's really bothering you that much, try to think that way. If not, again, I understand. This is totally different from the usual Easy A grind. Some people are used to that, some people enjoy that. 
I also enjoy that, but I don't mind this. But I'm also saying that because I have the units needed. If I did not have the units required, this would be very, very annoying. Because I was lucky enough to have a second perfect cell, I was able to get more key distribution on the team. That will be a problem for a lot of you if you don't have that. Now, if you don't want to do this right now, you don't have to, and here's why. If you are one of those people that actually has the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the one that is going to be getting an EZA very soon, if you have this Gohan right here, then in a few days, once the Extreme Z battle takes place for this, he will Extreme Z awaken into a Kamehameha category lead, or an all types leader. So once that happens, this will actually become a lot easier. Because now, you will have a key plus three along with whatever the cell gives you. So, there's no rush to do this event, guys. You really don't have to do this right now. If you want to, go ahead. But if you wait a couple days and you're one of those people that is waiting and banking on the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan EZA, rest assured, once that happens, you will have a much easier time doing this event. Also, when you do that, you will have this Gohan fully maxed out with his passive that includes the added bonus of doing extra damage when there is a Super Saiyan Go Goku on the team. So Int Yardrag Goku suddenly becomes an even more crucial piece to the puzzle. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully all of this was very clear and easy to understand. If it was not, let me know in the comments, ask any questions you may have, I will definitely help you out as best I can. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below if you did have all the units needed to do this. If you're in the process of getting it, where do you stand as far as these units are concerned? Also be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future. Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.